Hey yo, what up? It's the Funk Dr. Spock coming at you live and uncut. And in today's video, we are gonna be giving my first thoughts on the on the Destroyer of Humanity, which y'all know as Ram. There's honestly not much I can really say about this character. Because everybody and their grandmother hates this character. Alongside Soul, May, maybe Chip, so on and so forth. This was especially a thing back in the beta. I'm telling you, when the beta first dropped for Strife, for dropped for Strife, nearly everybody and from their double great grammy ma to their slap happy grandpappy was playing this character you could not go a single floor without seeing this character at least seven times okay that may be a little bit of an exaggeration but more or less you get the point there's i'm gonna grow old by the time this thing hurry up and loads that's thank you Let's go! Okay, seriously, come on, any time now. Let's get this going, come on. Oh, dear Lord. Thank you, took you long enough. With that in mind, let's get down to the dojo. Speaking of which, at the time of this recording, this is about to be nine days before Jacko drops, and she'll be the second DLC. I can, I heavily promise you that Jacko will be, will be on the ground for a vast majority of that video. Because everybody is down there. Let's get, let's focus here. <clears throat> let's go. I'll make the auto background, but I want the music. I actually like this one. That shit bumps. And yes, before you come into my comment section telling me how I sold out, I already know that I I already know that Ramley Bowl is full of bullshit. So don't come into my comment section giving me shit, cause I already know that she's on some bullshit. I already know. Hence why I have no shame playing this character. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get this thing done. Now the first thing we we're, we're gonna establish um, Ramley Gull is more or less a ranged fighter. As you see, she utilizes her swords from, from at more or less a mid, a, sh a short to mid, she's a short to mid range fighter, alright? She uses her swords to attack from a reasonable distance. And because everybody in this game likes to press buttons or just mash or just mash forward and dust like it's doing something, she can really do some serious damage. Now, Ramley Gold stops and starts with these swords. Most of most if not all of her attacks damage will vary based on the amount on the amount of swords that she has left. 
let's go to one of her biggest gimmicks, shall we? Well, well, I'll get to those gimmicks in a bit. Well, let's go in chronological order. We'll get to her... We'll get to the... She's got the usual anti-air that... She, she's she got the good, the usual anti-air that a lot... That damn near all the cast has. It has the upper invincibility, as per usual. And on top of that, it just seems like a really good normal. You can especially use it in the corner to avoid a wall break to do more damage, I think that's what it was. That, I'm not entirely sure. Watch. I'm gonna have to fix. She also has the command normal of forward and heavy slash. This is her get the fuck off me to her. Decent range, decent amount of power, and so on and so forth. Now for one of her most important specials, being Bajanito. What this does is this launches one of her swords. This launches one of her swords. You can go quarter circle forward slash. It can go quarter circle forward slash to launch the left, the right sword, and you can use quarter circle forward heavy slash to to launch the left sword. Again, if you want to launch the sword, you go quarter circle forward. I mean, ugh. Okay, let, let me make sure I'm getting this right. Right, 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 right. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me make let me make sure I'm getting this right. Okay. You if you want to launch the the right sword, you do quarter circle forward slash. Now what this does, what that particular sword does when launched, is this launches this launches higher in the air. Higher in the air, but you're launching the left, the right sword. Now quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward heavy slash is the one that launches the left sword. This, th that, that right there not only hits closer to the ground so that it hits the entire roster, but the most important thing to note about these, one of the most important thing to know of, note about this, is that this particular, is that launching the sword on hit, it carries opponents to the corner. And what this can also do is that when it hits the wall, it also explodes on impact. What you can do from here, is you can once it explodes on hit this can lead to a bunch of damage one two you've got your opponent in the corner and you can lead to some serious wall break let's go uh, hold on let me make sure Oh, see? When, it, when you're going out in combos and so on and so forth, the first thing you want to do is launch the left sword i.e. quarter circle forward heavy slash and then when you're going in for the kill as long as they're high up in the air that's when you do quarter circle forward slash 
for the for the left sword. Sorry, the right sword. You see that? Now, that's that one. This is her, is her anti-air. Her Daru is her anti-air, is her anti-air special. Now, I know, I know, her animation can be confused with another, with another, uh, special that we'll be covering a little later into the video, so bear with me here. This is her anti-air. It's got it's got really fast startup. If I can actually get it right, thank you. Now, one thing you also need to know is that this causes this can this if you can if you hit the if this is her anti-air. Now, if you hit them in midair during, if you hit them in midair with this move, you can, this launches the people upwards, so you can do some serious damage. Let me see if I can do a little something, some use, using this logic, alright? See? Pretty much what you can do if you hit them up, if you hit your opponent while they're in midair using Daru, you you pretty much knock them upwards and could do some serious damage and create an opportunity for a combo. The next thing on our list is uh is her Sildo de, de Chua. This is an overhead attack. That's made with leap. You cannot. This is an overhead. As well, hold on. Let me actually. Opponent status. Stand. Okay. Why did I do that? Anyway, her so The move we're talking about is not only is this a an an overhead. It's done with a leap. It's got fast startup with good recovery. That's a prime reason as to why Rambling Goal is pretty much full of shit. Is because a lot, a vast majority of her specials have fast startup with good recovery. We'll get to those jokes a little later. But as you see, this is an overhead. Even if you were to crouch and and try to block. I want her to crouch all guard. Um, Now the reason why he's only able to block is because I said no guard on, so he's gonna stop crouching. So if you were to crouch and block, it wouldn't work. 
because again it's an overhead in order for you to block it you have to be block it, blocking standing straight up See what? You can only block that standing straight up. The next move we're going to get into, which will explain one of the main gimmicks with with, with um, Ramethol, is her Saprobato. Oh, this one's gonna be. This one right here is going to be the, one of the best ones. Now, you have her swords. We have the Sabrabata. <coughs> Sorry. This is a pretty high damage move, but it has its fair setbacks. For one thing, no matter what you do, you cannot cancel into this special. Watch. No matter what I do. So you can't just you can't just mesh mash triangle or Y and then circle and or B and then just cancel into Sabrabata. This is an uncancelable. This is an uncancelable super. You can't even you can't even cancel into her overdrives. So that's honestly, even though it's a high damage move, it's one of the weakest setbacks. The second one and the most important one is that you see the damage it can do. This damage will will be mitigated. Is regulated and mitigated based on the amount of swords that you have. This not only applies to this super, but this also applies to a vast major a vast majority of her supers and specials as well. Watch. See, let me throw out one sword, and you can see that the damage is significantly reduced. Now you throw out both swords. And you saw that we were barely able to go past Chip's name. And while we're also on the subject, again, like I said earlier, the damage mitigation isn't just limited to that super. Watch. Majority of her normals... Ma majority of her... No <laughs> Her normals, the damage on her normals is mitigated as well. Like, you. Like, majority of the damage becomes next to nothing. You want to make damage, do a lot of damage, you have got to have the swords on you. Now, for one of my more favorite things about Ramlethal is her, what's it called? The Erolmo. Erolmo. This right there is pretty much going to be one of your biggest, biggest um, combo enders right here. Especially use this at the wall and they'll be going to zero and next to no time at all. Now, Now, the interesting thing about this special is that if you delay the first and second hits, you can you can go for increased damage. Like, watch. Look at how I do it. Look at the damage on Chip when I do it normally and really fast. You get you get to the C, right? But if I delay the second and third hits, I get way past it. 
You don't have to delay it to the point where it doesn't count as a combo anymore and can't be blocked, but just don't do it as quickly. Like so. Max damage. Pretty cool, right? Of course it is. Now... Um, the next... The next uh, special we are going to talk about is her Aggressa or Donna. And that's basically with and that's basically you being able to slash with your swords. It's a pretty decent poke. Very decent indeed. Now like I said before, this what you can and can't do with this special is going to again change it's going to again change based on how many swords you have equipped watch see I can barely hit him See, I was barely able to hit him because I didn't have the sword to quit. As you saw. Pretty much like I'm clawing at the air. Then of course you have her overdrives. Her her Calv Calvados and Mortoboro. Now with her Calvado Is that right? Now with her Calvados she pretty much yeets on the bitch and she'll go, I'm a- Hold on, I gotta change the status. Now with the Calvadoros, she pretty much yeets on the bitch and she'll go, I'm a- She'll go, I'm a fire- Damn it. With the- With the Calvadoros, she just yeets on the bitch and she'll go, I'm a fire- There we go. Now- Again, the Calvadoro, she heats on the bitch and she'll go, I'm a fire in my laser. Raw. Now, for the. What was it? The Mortal Butt. The Mortal Botto. This is. This. This move also pretty much ver varies based on the amount of swords you have on you at the moment. We're gonna do one where you have all of your swords with you. And one, and two, and... I saw Let me carry you into the corner. See? John, damn, look at all that damage. Now you see what it was like with with both swords. With not as much damage. Now we're gonna go with both. Okay. And you saw that we weren't even able to... We were barely able to launch them. Now, my thoughts on the character, a very nice, a very competitive, very competitive character, character in this, in this meta. Even though a vast majority of her, the, a vast majority of her move list and the properties of her said move list will great, will greatly vary based on the amount of swords that she has equipped on her. But well, other than that, this is a character that can do some serious damage, has a decent amount of frame advantage, and overall is just very fun to play as. But trust me, damn near everybody and from their double great granny mod to their slap happy grandpappy was playing this character in the beta. That's why people don't are so annoyed when it comes to her. That being said, I'm going to enjoy playing adding her as a tertiary main character. With that in mind, thank you for tuning in. 
This is the Funk Doctor Spock signing off. Peace, love, and funky cool. And long live Guilty Gear Strive. Thanks. Sorry, peace.